Hello guys, good afternoon and welcome back to this week's vlog. Bit of a different one this week, we're actually on a road trip. As you can see, car is packed up here behind me. So as you know, Hayley moved out of her apartment in Letterkenny and she got a storage unit up in Letterkenny for her stuff so we didn't have to drag it all around the country. Sorry, the police have just gone by. Um, but in the meantime, obviously we moved house, we we're in Tala and her dad left a treadmill and just a, bunch of stuff. just a bunch of stuff that she wants to take with her, like a hoover and stuff for her to take back up to her a Also, wait, I'm not taking the treadmill. No one else will use it. I'm not stealing it off anyone. No, no, you're not stealing it. I just want to make that very Sorry, clear. Sorry, okay, okay. So it was agreed that Hayley was the one who would probably use it most. I go out walking with the dog. Kerry's dead in Galway, she doesn't get any spare time. And, and Carl is probably going to be up in Letter Kenny with and you. And he would probably use it himself yeah. as well. So while we were tied in the front room, because the girls have been up, yeah. we decided that instead of having the treadmill sit in a corner while you go back down to my mum's or your grandma's, um, we would actually drop it up to the storage unit that she has in Letter Kenny. So when we do go to move her in September, we're not logging We're not logging up. everything up and, uh, up and down the country um, where it would take us two and a half hours to come back down and get more stuff and go. And we're moving everything up to the storage unit as we're getting it. And that way then it's only 20 minutes from your apartment. And plus we're probably going to have two cars. What? Maybe. 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 But I'm being positive. I'm being... Mm. You're trying to manifest this positivity. Yeah. To so we we'll, It'll be like a 20 minute drive, two cars full. We'd probably get done in about two ones each. Yeah. If we want to be like, my boot is tiny anyway so from then so we're going up to Letterca we're in Dundalk at the moment we had to go to Drogheda this morning poor Hayley had to go get blood tests this morning and she didn't faint. faint she I didn't faint, faint this time but, but she, faint. she does faint so it's sort of more of it we have to book an appointment so they can lie her down and do all that malarkey yeah. and it was free so we got that done so what are they checking for in this blood test Um, I already had one done I was low on iron so anemic <laughs> And vitamin D. And vitamin D. Well, thank God the good weather, and we have been kicking you out the back to get your vitamin D. Yeah, the doctor did say like you shouldn't have to take it during the summer, but during the winter, make an effort to take some vitamin D. Yeah, as everyone. Most so she's just getting them rechecked. So this is the final thing she it's needs. It's more so to do. for my iron. Yeah, it's more so for the iron. Yeah, that's the bigger issue than vitamin D. So got that done this morning. We've been to Starbucks. Woohoo! I love. I mean, they look at me awful queer when I go in with it because it is a 40 ounce but I've never had them refuse to fill it ever mm. and they fill it nice don't they and they even put little designs on the top of it they're very nice and what did you get you I have your Starbucks one as well so iced just... chai tea latte with soy milk because I'm lactose intolerant. iced chai tea latte soy milk own cup we're getting very good at this bringing our own cup yeah it's actually the first time I've used that Starbucks cup in Starbucks really? yeah no one in Little Penny. You, sh you should hang around with your kid, with your mum more, kid. You should hang around with my kid more? Yeah, mum, yeah. Blah. It's been a long day and it's only early. It's only 10 to 2, 10 to 1. And we've been up and out. And we've been up, out, blood test done, packed the car. And so we're going to Letter Kenny, put this stuff in storage, and then from Letter Kenny, where are we going? Sligo boy. Sligo boy. Sligo and what, do, what did we treat ourselves to? The nice little staycation. A little Sligo staycation. Because we've actually never been to Sligo. No. Well, I we've have been to Sligo. It. We've driven through it. Yeah, we've driven through like it. But we've never stopped in Sligo, I don't so think. So maybe, and there's a pool. Look, I'll try and get some footage of that. Maybe that'll be nice. Yeah, the there's pool. a pool. There's a sauna. We, we don't know if there's a jacuzzi. Hopefully there is. Because I'm a chill girl. I don't like swimming. I just like floating. I just like, I want to be relaxed. I want to kick my feet. I want to play more mate. Okay. <laughs> so, and we have breakfast included, and we it's buffet, do. so we'll have to film that. Breakfast in a hotel always hits different, and I think once you have a good breakfast, it keeps you going for the day. Yeah, no, it does. We've done that since we were children. So then, when we leave Scotland, Scotland, Scotland do you know what? Oh, I need definitely need <laughs> I to do. Where? After we leave Sligo, we're not going to Scotland. I'd love to go to Scotland though. Where are we going after? Then we're going down to Grandma in Galway. In Galway, because but that's only I, about a two-hour drive. Not even; it? it's like an hour and a half, mm. which is nothing for us. No. If we did it all in one go, it would be seven hours from Letterkenny, going up to Letterkenny from Dublin, then going to Galway, and totally seven hours. And we ain't doing that. Mm -mm. We haven't done that in about ten years. The last time we did a long drive was nine hours. Won't do it again anytime soon. That was across the whole of Scot um, Scotland. Scotland. Why is Scotland Mayor? on my brain? 
Maybe Spain. Maybe uh, trip. Spain. You going on a trip soon to Scotland? Not that I know of. <laughs> You don't my, even know. Brain, my brain is going to Scotland. We've always wanted to go to Scotland though. We've never been, surprisingly. I've never been. I have. Well, you were, but you're only a baby, baby. So that doesn't count. No. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. So we're heading up. We're going to take our drinks. We're going to take our time. We bought some snacks for the hotel room. Because we, we didn't get dinner. We got breakfast. We got breakfast. Because dinner's like, we're going to already probably eat on the way down. So yeah, so dinner. we stopped in Marks and Spencer's and we got some... Bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Nibbly we'll bit. show you them when we get some. We do a hotel room tour oh do I tell you this vlog would be it's actually a lovely and if the hotel's good we'll recommend it at the end of the video yeah we'll see I've never Our stayed way. in it yeah no, um, we've never done a lot of staycations we always just go to Galway to yeah but when you have your mother lives in one of the most beautiful yeah like why would scenic you scenic places in Ireland it's very hard to do a staycation to somewhere else I also want to try and film the road sign for Curry. oh <laughs> yeah when we're going from Sligo to is it after Sligo? Galway. It yeah, it's Sligo. after Sligo. And we go through curry. And we go through tub of curry. And I mean... And then we should try and find curry wangon. It and curry wangon. I shouldn't say that. No. That out. Yeah. And then there's curry wangon in Cleggan. Well, in Letterfrack, near Letterfrack. Yeah. So there's curry wangon. It means something in Irish. Put it up on the screen, Mum. Here, where my hand is. What, what? Curry means in what Irish. curry means in Irish? Yeah. Okay, so, so we got curry and then we've got Chubba Curry and Curry Wangong and they're the ones we're going through. And so they're we'll on the get. west as well. They're on the west. Right, we're gonna go, we'll never get on the road and then we'll never get to the hotel and then we can't get in the pool. We will talk to you later guys. I did it! So guys, we just have been to the storage unit for Haley. She's getting back in the car. <laughs> She's just after we've put up all the seats in the back. But that's an awful lot of her stuff gone now. So now we're on the hunt for the Eastern European shop. Polish, I think. I'm not Polish sure shop. We don't know. It's actually. You look windswept, darling. I am. It's so, what's it like to be back in uh, Letterkenny? We're not going to where I live. We just avoided it completely. Yeah. Not that we have a reason to avoid it. We just don't have a reason to go to it. Well, you don't have your apartment there until the end of Sept um, end of August. Yeah. So there's no reason for us to go to the place where you live. So yeah, it's so weird. Like, and it's so small. It's not like there's like a nice shop there or anything. Yeah. Which is kind of sad it's a very say. quaint little village. I like it. It's cute. I do like it. And it's not that far away from Letterkenny, so. Yeah. It's you couldn't walk it though. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. So, plan is we're going to go to the Polish shop. Yep. Pick up some of mum's cottage cheese. Pick up my cottage cheese. We, um, God, the boot looks so much different. I know. The first time. We actually got the chairs back up. So, I got them up. you got them up. It was your stuff that was taken out of it though? Yeah. Yeah, that's your Surrey talking to you. Surrey. What's her name? Siri. Siri. Um, I don't do Apple. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go on the hunt for cottage cheese into the Polish shop. And then we're going to head to the hotel. So next time I talk, she'll probably be in the hotel. What? We still have all, both our drinks. Yeah. We're making our way through them. The so car is making a funny noise. So we sort yeah. of took our time coming up. And it got very warm suddenly. It did. When we got to like Donegal area. For some reason. And it was raining in Monaghan. Yeah. And it was cloudy. And apparently it's cloudy in Sligo. Well, we don't. We'll, yeah. Okay. Apparently. Well, Hayley is in charge of taking videos of the road trip along the road. So if you don't get many of them, you know she ain't doing her job. Damn. So we're just going to point that out. Yeah. Because I can't obviously video while I'm driving. You've done it. With the tripod. She turns her phone on and has a tripod there. She's not. I can get you in some trouble. You could get me in all types <laughs> of trouble. But yeah, so right, we go oh. find this Polish shop. Oh wait, no, she's found something. Look what we got, something we got in Asda. Oh, the potato hoops, which are hula hoops, Brazda's, Asda's own brand. Oh, yeah, they're hoops. like a pound. Not even probably like 67, 75 we'll cents or something. I need to have the receipt in the bag anyway. We do. Right, there are snacks en route to Sligo. Hour and a half drive. Hour and a half drive. I'll put up actually the next little section of it because I took a picture. Then you should put up the full one. I did put up the full one, it's in a perfect V. So yeah, right, okay. Talk to you in a bit.
all right guys we just made it up to the room so i've just walked in the the door now Haley does not come with the room i know you wish it did but sorry guys i'm a premium deal <laughs> shut up for my mommy only yeah so when you come in to the left you have a wardrobe wardrobe a safe Oh, is that an you listen, I think it could be a press. A shoe shine. If you're going out for a fancy dinner or breakfast. It's two weddings on, isn't there? I might need to clean my shoes now. Yeah, and there's a wardrobe on that side. Yeah, and there. there is it's actually nice lighting. There you are. I don't know what that is. I That's a trouser press and an iron. Lovely. Kids yeah. never need them. Oh, I haven't seen the bathroom yet. Sorry. <laughs> and then this is the bathroom. Hello. Hey. So it's a shower over the bath, but it is a very low bath. Yeah. Not like so our one in Tala, where we have to scooch over. Let me just show you guys. Yeah, go on. Make sure the seat's down. There's a bath mat. Hang on. There's the, comes with um, the collection. Shampoo and body. And body conditioner. Gel. No, body gel. Yeah, conditioner's in this one. Conditioning shampoo, sorry. And you have your towels. And then if we look over here. Then we have a huge big mirror. It's actually and massive. A lovely little makeup mirror as well. That, yeah. That's the horrible side. Yeah. You look in there. See, that's this nice. And that is soothing hand wash. You have a shower cap. Shower cap. Tissues. You just wash your hair or something. And then oh, hair dryer. There's another hair dryer as well. Is I'll it? show you guys later. Yeah. Then you have your toilet. A necessity. And a shelf with hidden flush. And they give you a bath mat. To put on the bath. I've never seen this in a hotel before. No more. I've never seen it separate like that. Yeah. I've seen it hanging over the bath. And the, or already on the floor. Yeah. I've never seen them do this before. And the reception. Oh, guys. Film me. Film me. The receptionist me. was lovely, by the way. I know some receptionists. Well, they're also working long hours. But she was very spoily. Uh, okay. For quarter past seven in the evening. She well, was actually very happy and she was genuinely happy. For you. you could for it was a mother and daughter thing. She was like, yeah. I'm so happy for you guys. Yeah, like, that's, it's, people are like, oh, that's the bare minimum. Well, she didn't have to. She didn't have to. She could have just checked us in, took her money and told us where her room was. Yeah. And then you opened the door. Yeah, no. So then we're back out into the What's room. What's that? That is, pull it out. Oh, it's a dryer. It's, you know, if we go down to the pool and we want to hang our... Swimsuits, swimsuits oh, up, okay. you hang them on that, you pull it out and it well, goes the whole to the other end. Well, the whole time I've stayed in hasn't been this fancy, I'll tell you that. You with your mama now. We have a little mirror here. A little mirror. Port, I guess. Storage, some sort of hang storagey stuff, stuff. And then you have the main... Oh, the main room. I know, the TV's huge. And then we have the bed. Oh, here. What's here, Hayley? That, oh, ooh. So you have this little storage area with a plug, so if you want to maybe set up a speaker, you know, if you're getting ready, and if you pull this out, so that's where you plug in your kettle. Yeah. You have your kettle, you have two cups, and then you have your coffee and tea. I think it's mostly. Well, we bought milk with us. We bought milk because those four sachets aren't doing anything no. for anyone. No. And that's in the you... bottom one. Oh, sorry. If you open this, which way does it open? You have a little mini fridge. Which is good because we'll give you guys a haul of everything we bought. <laughs> we did buy enough. There is a luggage rack. You probably and what's in these bought. drawers, Hayley? So in this one. Another hair dryer. Brilliant. Because I put it's a more hair. powerful one. But I don't like washing my drying my hair in the bathroom. Bathroom. So I'm like, it's just sticky in there and humid. And there's nothing in this one. I did go looking for a Bible. I haven't checked the side tables yet. <laughs> okay. And what's there? Oh, that's the remote that's comes remote. in it. So it's been cleaned and sanitized. Oh, sanitized. Netflix. Huh? Good Netflix. Oh, very good. We might be watching some movies. Then no, there is mirror. your internet. Another mirror. Lights. That light, there's a seating area. Yeah. And we have a little couch with all our bags on it. I think that turns into a bed. Yeah, probably. Over here. Complimentary. Grasses and some water. Show the water. It's Irish fresh spring water. Nice. It's from the Inua collection. And it's just water. water. But it's recyclable because it's cardboard or paper or whatever. The view is very nice. We should address the view that out there we're over this but if we stand here and, and look to our right we've actually got in fairness we have got a lovely view and also we can always go outside when that's true enough we here. can always go outside but first things first we're actually going to go back down to the car get our stuff because we didn't get anywhere you oh sure sorry can i show you the size of the bed they're actually two four single scale. beds four scale 
Right, so that's... Me and, like, I'm not fully on the bed, but I'm in the middle of the bed. Yeah. And so I'm, it's two single beds together. You can see them by the basis. Five, four and a half. So I'm yeah. not five, one. You know, I'm not... No, two, you're not a kid. Kid size. Kid size. But, like, it's a big bed. Right, and Mrs. Also, hold on. Oh. Clean the planner, not my room. That's a bit rude. Oh, okay. So for Dan Syndrome Ireland. And this is for tells only, please, which we'll probably need after our showers, after the pool. Yeah. So, and we have four pillows. <clears throat> and one so will that... probably take my, one of mine. Oh. Right, so that is the hotel room, guys. So now we're going to go edge the car and we are going to go and get our stuff so we can get to the pool. So I got the beef, mashed potatoes, a sauce, some mushrooms, all in a peppercorn sauce. And Haley got a chicken cobbler, cordon, cordon bleu. Blue. We don't know, we think it's bok choy. I think it could just be lettuce. Lettuce, we don't know. Some greens and a creamy sauce, absolutely gorgeous. And some mashed potatoes. And I got mashed potatoes too. Good morning guys, it is the next morning. Um, slept okay, didn't sleep great. But slept as you do in a new bed with new pillows and a stranger what? in the bed with you. You never sleep great. What stranger? I'm your daughter. Stranger danger. So how did you sleep last night, baby girl? Not great. Not great, but it wasn't a bad sleep. No, no, no. It wasn't great. I had to hear words. I had to keep turning on the air conditioning because I was boiling. Yeah, it was. It was very warm in the room last night. And now it's raining. It's raining this morning, but um, it's not really cold. I think you're just out of bed and you're still tired. But uh, it's not really cold, but it is raining heavily. So we're going to go down and have an early breakfast because there is a coach in. So we'll have an early breakfast, come back to the room, get changed, and then we're going to the jacuzzi. It's been open an hour. The yeah. Buffet. Buffet's been open an hour. If I can get some footage, I get some footage. If I can't, I can't. I'm now having my phone confiscated and getting barred from breakfast because I'm actually looking forward to this breakfast. Yeah, I mean, I just take them photos of the food and just put them up. Yeah. Look at you sitting there in all your glory. Yeah. Right, we're going to go have breakfast, go to the jacuzzi and then check out. And we will talk to you probably again when we're on the road. All right, guys, so we've made it back to the room after breakfast. We had breakfast, didn't, it was jam-packed. Um, we did get a lovely four-seater table for the two of us, but um, yeah, it was crazy busy, but the breakfast was absolutely gorgeous. We spent an hour and 15 minutes eating over breakfast, which was a bit wild. But um, yeah, we're packed up, we're ready to go. We've just come up, we went down after breakfast and we went to the leisure centre and we had a swim. The jacuzzi. The jacuzzi was the hottest jacuzzi I think I've ever been in. I felt like I was being boiled alive. Didn't last very long and we ended up having to get out of it. And then that took us up to near 12. Came up to the room, spoke to reception on the way. And we moved our checkout from 12 to 1. So gave us a chance to have a shower. So now we're getting in the car. But let me show you the weather outside. So as you can see, it's not really a... A great day but because we're traveling it's two and a half hours here from here to my mum's so um yeah it's just a day for being in the car i'm going to get a coffee before we leave and then we'll head down the road Haley's in the bathroom she's just finishing up her shower and her oh getting her face organized you know the usual rubbish so yeah Head out. It's not cold though, that's the only good thing. It's raining, but it's not cold. 
So hopefully there'll be some scenery to show you along the way that isn't covered in rain. I think it's meant to clear up in the afternoon, but I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Right, let's go check out. Where are we? Right, so Hayley decided that we should turn on Google Maps. Not Google Maps, Apple Maps. No, Google Maps, it is Google Maps. On an Apple phone. Yeah, Maps. and we just picked a route home. We picked home. a route home to my mother's. And it has taken us every way but a main road. Yeah. So I think we, we've so far we've avoided Castle Bar. And we're West. Oh, whoa. Yes. We haven't avoided Westport yet, but we're near Westport. This is what, this we're, looking is what we're looking at. And it's been like this for maybe half an hour, hour? The last half hour at least. Yeah, because we're almost, oh my phone turned off, what the fuck? So this is what we're looking at. We're on this road for 10 kilometers. Mum, put up the miles. Here. And in <laughs> fairness, my car is making the queerest noise. Yeah, you have to get it checked and we're going on. I have to get it checked to by a mechanic when I get to my mum's house. And, and we're, we're off road. I have half a tank of fuel with less than half a tank of just under half a tank. Are you going to try and do something maths? I was going to try and do maths. But you just can't. I just can't do maths. And we're meeting people who can't drive. So. A quarter of a tank. A few left. But I'm saying that this house is around, so I mean, not And just if you look door. here, can I get you guys to focus? There's some orange. So there might be somewhat of like a junction or a town. Because the last yeah, orange. A village. A village. Town lot. And town's a bit much for these. Yeah, but the last time we saw orange was there was a junction. It was. But then we turned off that junction and we, we went on the back road. The main road. Yeah, we actually avoided it completely. Now, okay, we could have made a decision. I could have pulled an executive decision. Well, I, we did ask. We did discuss it. Yes. We decided, why not? We decided. Look, life is too short. We'll just go the back roads and see. And what we, we need a bit of waking up, so we put on some like um, Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Yeah, Bon Jovi. Jovi. Some. Shania Twain. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's her name? You're so vain. That song. That song. We just had a sing song going down these back roads. But the, the scenery is lovely. It's you definitely because it was a two and a half hour drive. It definitely wasn't. It was the motorway was very boring, or the national road was. Very and it was boring. raining, and we were getting. It was sleepy. raining, so it's nice to get off and go on a road that you don't know. It sort of wakes you back up again. Yeah, you we still have so eight more kilometers on this road. Yeah. But it's not bad. No, no, it's, it's not, not bad. bad. We've done what? I actually, for such a small road, there's a lot of big houses and they're lovely looking houses. Look, look at that one. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like wood. Yeah. Effect. They're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. But like, they are on back roads. Oh. Which is a bit strange. You know? There is a torn here. Oh, look at this. No, sorry. No, look. This we have, thing. also, we have been stopping and looking at stuff. Yeah, we've, oh. You're gonna follow the road that way, by the way. way. I'm actually gonna stop here for a sec. Westport now? Yeah, that's the county hotel. Hold on, look, let me just zoom in on the sign there. That's where we're supposed to be aiming for. That's where Westport. Of, look, look, uh, telephone box. Yeah. That's an Irish one. That's you an know, Irish telephone box because it's pink, uh, green. Green and cream. And you'd know the British ones because they're red. Yeah. We don't do that here. We are, I actually haven't seen them. They're all removed. Obviously, no one uses public pay phones anymore. Especially really. in like Dublin and stuff. But actually to see it there it's really cute i do think some towns like this have some like heritage where they have to keep a few of them yeah it's same way in like i mean we're actually discovering lovely look places that. like that's an old church with a tower to it and the, I, if it was sunny i'm going to be honest with you i would park up the car and i'd walk around the graveyard because they're old see. graves yeah they're like probably 18th 17th century like earliest it's absolutely gorgeous and it's there's another cemetery here beside us we have can you guys see that dedicated to ooh. What was that? Dedicated to all those buried in unmarked graves in parish in this parish. I can't pronounce where it's from. Ochnagona. Unveiled and blessed by very reverend Jackie Connery, PP Arch Akagero, and the fifteenth of August two thousand and three. So only I was only a few months old when it was. So that's for people all buried in the unmarked graves that can be during um, the famine. During the famine or newborn babies that weren't baptized before death. Yeah. They tend to, they tended to go into unmarked grave, which our pauper's graves are also unmarked. Got to turn that on. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so I don't know. This is what I'm going to say. To you. I don't know if that's a Church of Ireland, and that's a Catholic church. You wouldn't know. Oh well. Because <clears throat> by the very Reverend Jackie. Jackie's a woman. Yeah. Could, could be a man. But I'm wondering if. But also, if you look at these graves, they're not as um. What's the word? 
stylistic. Maybe Catholics tend to be quite stylistic with the grace. Well, they tend to have a lot of crosses. Yeah, and that is full of crosses, as you can see, like all there, and that really. And there's, you can't. And if you look over there, there's more of them. So yeah, yeah. Right, we're gonna move because we want to get home before. We have an hour and eight minutes left. If you guys can see that there. An hour and eight minutes, but we don't know where we are. Like, no idea where we are. So we're gonna go up here. And yeah, so and I think so that could be a Protestant church and that could be a Catholic church. Yeah, and then we have another church here. Sorry, it's oh, getting blurry. This, this is lovely. Look at the little shrine. We've actually seen a few of them. I would it's film that way. Uh, yes, you are. It's a little shop. A little shop. That's the town shop now. Scots. It's an XL. You get them in little towns. In my little town, you'd have that. No. It's so, yeah. a nice little area. Area. Definitely. But if we didn't go off the beaten track. We would have we stopped. Never have found them. Yeah, I and mean, we, we, if it was a nice weather, we would have stopped. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I would have gone. Well, I would have gone and had a look. I love actually looking at grave stones. You're just going to continue straight ahead. Yeah, I'm going to look at. Um, so the, now we're heading for Linan. So the two had, the two towns we were aiming for because that sorry. sort of landmark is Castlebar and Westport. Yeah. yeah. And then you head down to Linan, and then it's over to my mum's. So we've bypassed Castlebar and. Westport. Westport. Completely. Completely. And I think we're going up and over the mountain now. Which, and then once we get to lean on, we know the way. So we don't need the GPS anymore. Well, there's no sort of, you have to cross the Killery. Yeah. Well, if we do, will we be going into Leon? We'll be going into Leon. So we we'll to, definitely um, stop there. We'll stop there and show you. It's a forge. Yeah. So we'll forge, definitely stop there. Forge, even if that was going. Um, it's fishery. There's a big fishery big thing. It's big fishery, but the actual mountains oh. is a forge. It's almost like a U-shaped yeah. uh, valley. It's literally in the deepest valley you'll see. We'll definitely stop though. I'm sure you've shown it in other videos. Yeah. But we'll probably. do it again because it's beautiful. It and is why not? beautiful and it's lovely on a sunny day. But it's... Oh, he's not letting us. Is he turning? He's pulled in. Oh, well, I'll just say thank you either way. Actually, if Hayley turns you around, shows you all the mountains and stuff in front of us. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's actually quite a foggy day. Because we are quite close to the sea. It's that silly misty rain. It's almost like sea mist as well. Yeah, You're going to start getting at this point. Now we're going obviously down the mountain. I, think, I don't know if, well you guys probably cannot see. It probably doesn't look that steep to you guys. It looks steeper in real life. Yeah. This part here. Right. We're going to hang up because Haley has to give me directions as we're going. Yeah. So we'll see you guys in a bit. And we'll see you in Leenam. Bye bye. Okay, so this is the famous Ashling Falls. Let's see if I can. It is absolutely gorgeous, but they're gushing. Absolutely gushing today. The lower them. Guys, so we arrived at Mammy's last night, but the rain was so bad we actually had flooding over near Kalmar Abbey. Mm. It was absolutely crazy. So we couldn't stop <coughs> in Nan. So we couldn't stop in Nan because you couldn't see it. Um, the fog as well it was yeah, really bad. It was just a it turned into one of the most horrible days. If it was the dead of winter, you could you'd, you'd you believe, believe it. it with the with the weather that was and going on. It was chilly on. enough as well. Yeah. So we arrived home. We're here. So you say that we had the back windows open the entire way down. Yeah. Well, it was warm. Yeah. There was heat. There was heat in there, them humid. skies. Humid. 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 So, it's the next morning, obviously. Myself and Haley have just been out for lunch. Can't tell by the weather change. Yeah. <laughs> so we've just been out for lunch. It's 20 degrees today, sunny and warm. Now it is very breezy. But the breeze isn't cold. No. It's cool. So I'm actually heading back home again today. I'm leaving. Because my freezer arrives tomorrow and I want to be there. At like 7am. 7 7am. 7 he said we will be with you between 7am and 9am. I, I thought, know. oh, Colin, okay. carry on, I'll be you. No. So I'm going to head up. I'm just waiting for mom to come back from her lunch club, club that she goes, her lunch club that she goes to on a Friday. And then I will say goodbye to mum. And yeah. I will, I'll be back down again in about a week or two. And we will stay down probably for a couple of days. Then I think. I think. You think? I think. Watch us stay for two days. Yeah, I go right. That's it. I made. Yeah. Right. Anyway, lads, we're going to go. I'm going to end the vlog here. Myself and Haley arrive safe. We're s nothing much else to say, really, is there? 
You had a good sleep last night? Yeah, did. Slept for about 12 hours. It's back in your own bed. You always do. Yeah. Yeah. Right, guys. Take care of yourselves. And we will talk to you in the next one. Bye. Bye.